guys welcome to my channel this is rajesh yadav and in today's session i am going to cover intro question based on store macro permanently using percent include statement let's move on to the next slide this is about me and my experience let's move on to the next slide okay guys so if you are going for an interview what will happen either you will clear the interview or you will fail the interview but in both the situation you are not able to get to know what went well and what went wrong so if you clear the interview that is fine but if you fail you will not get what is your weakness how will you work on your weakness to clear the interview in next session so if you want to get all this information you can take a session from me even if you are good in sas or you want to clear your interview in first attempt and all the information you want to know you can take my session it will be to our session wherein i will cover real interview experience technical questions i will review your resume and most importantly i will share the feedback so based on that you will work on it and you will able to clear the interview so guys based on my experience whoever taken the session 90% of the people are able to clear their interview in first attempt if you want to take that session you can contact me directly on my whatsapp number or you can email me let's move on to the next slide okay if you want to take a 3 months sas course or you want to learn or if anybody in your relation or circle want to learn says they can contact me let's move on to the first question what is the use of percent include statement first let's read the answer we can save macro programs permanently in an external file we can access that specific macro using percent include statement macro is compiled when you submit percent include statement and you can call this macro any time during the says session make sure file name is same as macro name so guys if you want to save your macro permanently you just need to save your macro in an external file and then you can call that uh, you can access that particular macro by using percent include statement so how we will do that let's see so in the below screenshot what i have done is i have i write one macro that is macro print data set name of the macro is print data set and what i am doing here is i am passing one parameter that is t set name of the data set then i am using one procedure proc print and then i am printing the data set that is passed as a parameter i am using percent d set to print that pass pass data set then run and percent min so here i am not calling the macro i am just defined the macro here name of the file should be same as macro name so print data set and macro name is print data set let's understand what will happen when we submit the percent include statement how you will submit it use percent include then the location of the file so this is the location of the file we have showed in previous slide once we will submit this statement that particular macro will be compiled and we can use that macro during the sas session so here we are calling that macro by percent and the name of the macro and we are passing the name of the data set that we want to print let's see the log so in the log you can see we have submitted two statements and now you can see there were 21 observations read from the data set sas user.admin let's see the output these 21 observations are printed in output window so guys what happened there when we were looking at the log let me go back and show you so here whatever mentioned in this file is not printed in the log you can see that we are just showing the percent include but no other information is printed so what we can do is if you want to print what is the content present in print data set file we can use one option that is called source to so in the same statement you will use source to option and then if you submit the percent include statement you will get the content of this macro in the log window so let's see the log you can see that this is the statement we submitted and based on this statement you can see this was the content written in the file macro print data set proc print data set run percent min and here we are calling the print data set macro so you can see the additional information is there in the log and that is because of source 2 so the interviewer can ask another question on source 2 when he is uh, talking about percent include so guys please remember this it will use to print the macro definition in the log let's move on to the next slide all right guys that's it in the session if you like this video please hit the like button or subscribe the video or let me know on what topic do you want me to create a video we'll meet in the next session till that time bye and take care